wonderful. Um, yeah, I, first of all, just uh, thank you very much for inviting me um, to uh, this meeting. I'm very excited to be here. I still remember um, 2012 when was my first uh, visit in India at the World Meme uh, Conference in Nagpur. And I very fondly remember that event and all the people I met there. And uh, so with Tamara, we've come a long way uh, since then. Uh, we were very young uh, at the time, only founded in 2010 by Karin Manas. Uh, we're now uh, 120 people plus uh, strong. And I'm uh, happy to say we have been able to um, keep that team size throughout the pandemic. And uh, we have uh, 16 employees in India as well. And I'm Maxwell Samuel, our head um, of the facility in Chennai, is here with us today as well. So thanks for joining, Maxwell. Um, Thank you, so, Anne. Yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Tamara, you've set uh, ourselves some uh, big audacious goals uh, to be achieved uh, by 2030. Um, and they do not exist in isolation. In fact, they form a virtuous cycle. Um, and uh, the three main goals that we have is uh, reduce global synthetic pesticide load um, by 80%, increase soil organic carbon by 100%, and increase global farm productivity by 20%. And the way these three uh, endeavors are connected is that uh, reducing synthetic uh, pesticide is really important in enable the growth of microorganisms in the soil which in turn is very important to increase uh, soil organic carbon. And uh, higher soil organic carbon improves the soil health and which is very important, you know, soil health is the most important thing for uh, crop um, productivity for healthy plant growth. And so that will increase the farm productivity, which if a farm is more productive, um, then it needs less pesticides uh, to apply. Healthier plants means that they're more resilient against pests. So we are working that uh, virtuous cycle with um, our products and with our um, soil health uh, monitoring um, and ergonomic support um, activities. And so our story starts with Neem. Um, back then in 2010, Neem always has been a really important part of Terramera um, uh, since our very early days. And our first products uh, for bed bugs uh, were developed with Neem as an active ingredient. And Neem has many uh, bioactive ingredients make it ideal for broad range product development. And today we um, have developed a uh, first agricultural product and we named it Rango. And it is a broad spectrum insecticide and fungicide uh, registered in the US uh, since 2018. And this product is the result of many years of research and optimization to solve problems that limited its use. And so I want to talk a little bit um, about um, how we solve these problems. Um, first, a uh, very important choice uh, was that we use uh, cold pressed neem oil instead of the clarified hydrophobic extract. And the main advantage of cold pressed neem oil is that it maintains the integrity of the bioactive ingredients. The, the disadvantage of using cold pressed neem oil is that it solidifies um, at ambient uh, temperature um, and uh, ambient storage conditions, which impacts the user convenience, especially in, uh, in the Northern uh, hemisphere where temperatures are much cooler than in India. And another problem is the emulsion stability after dilution with water. But um, first I want to talk to you about quality control. So as you know, cold pressed neem oil contains a wide range of polar and non-polar limonoids, which enables broad range um, of efficacy. And what you see in this picture here is an HPLC spectrum um, with uh, a fingerprint spectrum of cold pressed uh, neem oil, um, ranging from um, hydrophilic 
components. Uh, most well-known one is azadaractins A and B, all the way to very uh, hydrophobic components, um, which actually contains the bulk of the limonoids of the richness of neem oil. And so the quality control method that we developed um, aimed at um, quantifying not just azadaractin A and B, um, but also all of the important non-polar limonoids that are present in cold pressed neem oil. And so we developed a six marker system that uh, allowed us to uh, track not just azadaractin, but four more uh, important markers um, that ensures that we get the uh, whole richness um, of neem oil into our product. And it, this has been a very uh, useful product specification that ensures robust quality control and it gets the customers all the benefits from cold pressed neem oil. I mentioned the uh, uh, relatively high uh, melting point uh, of neem oil. Um, and so um, besides keeping all the limonoids when we use cold pressed neem oil, we also get to keep all the long chain saturated triglycerides. And this unfortunately causes uh, the relatively high solidification point um, of cold pressed neem oils around 12 degrees Celsius. Um, and so our formulation chemists worked really hard to understand this problem and eventually fixed it, which has resulted in a formulation that stays liquid even down to freezing temperatures to so, so zero degrees Celsius. So that was a long journey to go from 12 degrees C to zero degrees C. And this uh, provides us with a superior user-friendly product that's especially popular in um, our North American markets. And in addition to a low solid solidification point, uh, Wango also has superior emulsion stability. Again, a great work uh, by our formulation chemists to find a white emulsifier that is able to deal with this fairly heavy vegetable oil. Nemo has fairly high viscosity, so it's, it's not easy um, to find uh, the white uh, surfactants to uh, keep it in emulsion so it doesn't separate from the water again. The stability um, of our emulsion here shown in the center um, of this picture um, is actually much longer than 48 hours. Um, one customer we have stored it on her desk uh, and it kept its milky consistency for weeks. Okay, now I want to show you some um, efficacy results uh, from field trials we have done with Wrangle. So first up here uh, is a comparison with Entrust. Entrust is a widely used organic insecticide uh, with the active ingredient Spinoza. You might be familiar with it. And um, Rango here has comparable efficacy uh, with this uh, product, very popular product against lepidopterin pests on broccoli. In my second example uh, here, I'm comparing against the um, um, insecticide progranic nemicide. It's a product from uh, Mexico. Um, the active ingredient here is neem oil as well. It's an 80% neem oil extract. And we show here that we get uh, better efficacy on thrips on avocado here at the uh, high end of the uh, product label rate of Wrangle, which is 1.8% volume per volume. And in my third example here, um, we are comparing against a product called Elliot. Uh, these uh, are wettable granules. It's actually a synthetic pesticide um, called Fossetyl Aluminum or Fossetyl AI. Um, it's a systemic pesticide, so normally very, very powerful. And uh, as you can see her Rango definitely holds up with that as an organic biopesticide. It performs the same high efficacy as uh, this synthetic uh, fungicide against downy mildew on spinach. So we use Rango both as an insecticide and as a fungicide. Hey, so now let me uh, switch gears uh, here. I want to tell you a little bit more about Green Chemistry Solutions, um, a relatively recent uh, business unit that continues the uh, tradition of Terramera here in the 
um, agricultural product development. Um, and after successfully developing several products, um, we asked ourselves, uh, how can we use technology to take formulation development to the next level? And how can we deploy that, not just for our own products, but through strategic long-term partnerships? And uh, you might know the formulation is largely an art. Uh, although it is called formulation science, but this, this knowledge uh, rests with um, quite a few experts um, in the world. Um, that are uh, formulation chemists. And um, there is not many of them. They're actually quite rare and um, they combine um, a lot of very specialized knowledge uh, and experience to make good formulations. So rather than relying, the, uh, rather than, uh, relying on, this, on these individual talents, we decided uh, to invest in automation so that we can use machine learning and artificial intelligence combined with our proprietary formulation technologies like Actigate and Exosect to build a powerhouse for formulation innovation. And using our experience and expertise, we assembled a unique platform and process that can turn a market need into a product solution. And specifically the new key elements that uh, we introduced here are computational chemistry and machine learning. And we paired those key technologies with high throughput in vitro screening and automated implanter testing capabilities. And so machine learning uh, needs large scale data generation which uh, quickly becomes monotonous for people. However, people are our highest good. And so we are continuous working, continuously working to eliminate the repetitive manual work to free up creative potential of our team members. So we use uh, robotic liquid handling and we use ghost chambers uh, that have automated plant handling so that we can run uh, experiments uh, with up to 1,000 plants in one growth chamber. And uh, we have um, um, developed uh, imaging technologies that allows us to uh, image 96 wall plates and also image our plants and uh, combine uh, that with uh, machine vision analysis pipelines to evaluate the efficacy of uh, insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides. And so we, we apply what we have learned um, with Neem. Neem is a great teacher um, to many uh, different active ingredients uh, in many different application areas. And so we are looking to develop uh, quality long-term innovation partnerships with companies that want to develop new formulations or overcome certain problems with their formulations as well. And so um, I'll end my presentation here because I'm probably out of time, but I invite uh, everyone to reach out to me if you're interested in talking to us more about partnership opportunities. Thank you very much. Good morning, friends. Good morning. And also the good evening to all my friends from the Western part of the world. Uh, this is the second webinar. In fact, we had the first one, which had a very good uh, response. This encouraged us to conduct the second one. In fact, the webinar serves two very important purposes. One is that it keeps the organization alive and active. Especially when the situations like COVID, when there is not much of activity, through the webinar, we can show that some activity is going on and the second one, it helps in exchange of the knowledge. Now, for the past two years, when life was almost standstill and there was not much of activity, webinar is the best alternative. These are some of the things that I thought I will share with you and now I hand over to the if you wish to become a WNO member, simply click the link in the description box or visit our website www.worldnameorganization.org.
subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss a video from us. Our social media handles are given right on the screen as well as in the description box.